For the first time in 1,000 generations our sector governors will not be working solely to enrich Coruscant and the core worlds, but to advance the quality of life in the star systems that make up each sector, keeping the spaceways safe, maintaining open and accessible communications, assuring that tax revenues are properly levied and allocated to improving the infrastructure. Will Huff Tarkin on the New Order a vast transportation network to connect Palpatine's vast empire served as the primary means of both civilian and military transport. Interstellar commerce and warfare primarily occurred along one of several major hyperspace lanes, considered transgalactic highways, with their knowledge and existence dating back to well before the former Galactic Republic. With the major trade routes considered safe for hyperspace travel, their control was vital for maintaining an effective means of defense and galactic dominance. In smaller systems, hyperspace beacons could transmit their coordinates, allowing starships to make quick jumps to and from the system. As a result, destroying them could hinder enemy mobility and response times. Serving this vast system were spaceports, facilities where starships would dock and refuel, restock and rearm. Spaceships serving as fuel stations also existed in the vastness of the galaxy, along with major shipping ports such as Horizon Base. Owing to the immense size of the Empire, a vast, complex logistical network was maintained by the Imperial hierarchy, and as a result was both immensely interconnected and extremely fragile. Locales such as Mardona III served as warehouse worlds, planets turned storehouses for millions of metric tons of goods to fuel the Empire. Imperial cargo ships often transported these resources across the galaxy, slovenly and low-quality personnel, or fresh recruits just out of the academy often crewed these vessels, owing to their rather menial task. The T-44 landspeeder saw use by members of the Imperial military for transport.